Hello. Ah, good evening to you. I need to go to um, Balmain East Park, please. Yes, sure. Now, how's the weekend for you so far? Oh, it's already ending. Well, it is Sunday night. Weekends yeah. do end at Sunday nights often. Yeah, sad. I wish I could have like a four days weekend. <laughs> Did you get out and about amongst friends? Yeah, yeah. At least I've done something this weekend. And today was a quite you know, sunny day. You got out into the sunshine? Yeah, of course. Good. We haven't had such a sunny day for quite a while, so... So long as you can get out amongst friends, it's the best way. Yeah. So long as you can get out amongst friends. You ever seen that paste up there before? No. What is it? It's actually, you can see the rabbit-eared figure behind and um, it's the guy who was putting rabbit-eared figures up around the place a few years back, but it's pictures of him doing that. Oh. And about, oh, about six months or a year ago, he, that one stayed up there for some time now since about then. There's a picture of himself getting himself up. Kind of meta. Mm. Do you have any favourite bits of graffiti, street art? No, not really. Not really into art. No. <laughs> the city's more fun when you start paying attention to the graffiti. Yeah, maybe. I don't really pay attention. But like, I've noticed that in Sydney there's way less fresh graffiti than in Paris. We have more in Paris. And like, yeah, you kind of yeah, did well, you know, keeping the city walls clean. Did well. <laughs> no, honestly, if, like, if you go to Paris, like, in the city, you would see those graffiti. Like, if you go to the city, you won't see any of these. Like, some of them look good. Do you actually. think that makes, makes Paris look better, having clean walls everywhere? No, because like, if it was, you know, like, nice graffitis, I would say that's alright, but when it's just, you know, scratches and, you know, just, you know, okay. writings. Right, we're going to go, we're going to go under this bridge up here, this um, rail bridge that crosses the road, and it's got a couple of pieces on it. Chuck had a light. It's one by somebody called Yanu, Y-A-N-O-E, just on this rail bridge up here. It's just a writing piece, but have a look at it as we go. See up there? See, don't think like this, I think it's alright, but like the black stuff. Just, just the tags. Just, I don't think that's good. I like when it's, you know, nice graffiti with like nice colors and funny shapes and stuff. Maybe someone's going I like to that Yanu yeah, piece also because you, you wonder how he did it. It's fairly elaborate and it would have taken a bit of time and it. You know, no, a bit of care, but it's a, he was on a narrow ledge, probably holding onto the top. Mm -hmm. yeah, so there's a it's that um, word parkour, like <laughs> when you sort of <laughs> climbing around the city yeah. and so on. So there's an element of that. So. Mm. Oh, this is dangerous, though. the parkour stuff. But that's that's you know adventurous. That's cool. Jumping from one building to another. But they can combine. You can you can graffiti while you, you know, to show that you got there. <laughs> yeah, you could. Are you really into that art stuff? As I said, the city's more fun when you start paying attention to the craft. Yeah. Especially the CBD, because otherwise it's just buildings. Blank walls are boring. <laughs> I mean, if you ever, like, wanted to do something arty as well, like, I don't know, painting or... Yeah, I can't paint for nuts. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can barely draw, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I think everybody at some point when they're a kid, they start writing their name and playing with the letters. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, I write that. But I'm not good at drawing either. 
But do you remember, like, on your pencil case at school or something, writing your name in different ways yeah. with different sorts of letter shapes? Different colors. Paris, what do they do with graffitis when they find them, when they catch them? Fine. Just fines? Usually they give them fines and they, you know, force them to clean and stuff like that. But, and they don't always catch them. It's pretty rare when it happens. It's very hard to catch them because, like, usually they do that you know, when no one expects them to. Like, at night. But that might be that might be part of the fun, the fact that it's illegal, the fact yeah, that you're getting I think away so. with something. It's like the thrill, you know, being caught. Doing something that you're not allowed to yeah. do. Getting away with it. But even if they were caught, like it's not as if, you know, it was always in the news. That may happen, but no one would know it. No one tells it. Where about in East Balmain you are? Where about in East Balmain do you want to be? Darling Street. Down the, at the end. Yeah, end. Right. Just before the wall. Sure. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of street art or graffiti in Balmain. It's not, not much at all. No. It's a bit dull like that for me. I prefer, I feel happier in parts of town where there's a lot of graffiti. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It makes me feel that people's kids, are, their minds are engaged with their surroundings and they're, they're playing games with their, no, their surroundings. It's pretty quiet, you know, it's like a, a village, family type of village. Oh, there are a few bits and pieces up along here, along um, yeah. Victoria Road. There's a lovely that building, you can just see the end of it here that's on the footpath. It looks like a toilet block on the footpath. Yeah. It's sort of an electricity substation. Mm -hmm. It was painted by a guy called Vars a few years ago. It's, it's a great piece. Just up right there on the left. One of my favourite things around town. And he's been in Paris recently. He's been in Paris recently. Something there? Oh yeah, yeah. He did. He did quite a bit of street stuff while he was there. So, um, you know, he does his name Vars, but he also does this kind of figure. I think it's called Roger. It's sort of a kind of simply drawn sort of a figure. It looks a bit menacing sometimes. It appears on corners. Yeah. But um, no, he does paintings and tries to flog them off in galleries situations sometimes too. There's one I've seen a couple of times at gallery shows of his that's um, <laughs> from his period in Paris and sort of replicating some of the stuff that he did in Paris but it's also just sort of showing off. He's got his Paris bus tickets and tra uh, yeah. metro tickets in there. It was stuck into the artwork as well. It's like he's saying, I've been to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> But then putting his name up around Paris too is another way of saying, oh, I've, been, I've been to Paris, I've been here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's cool because he like left, like, he's leaving a mark everywhere he goes. Like, let's say he goes to Paris and he throws something on the wall and then, you know, he goes to, I don't know, Tokyo and he does the same thing. And, and everywhere in the world he will have, you know, his mark. There's a, there's a graph writing crew called AMF who um, just they're, they're sort of Sydney originally based they went to um, they got caught in London doing full sides of trains and um, in the court case from a, the prosecutor was very keen to show that they were sort of international vandals and showed lots of pictures of their stuff in, in Japan and in Australia and um, 
was kind of a concern because it seemed like they'd gotten pictures of their stuff online but they didn't even do that they just got it all I, I, I talked to one of the guys just a month or two back and he told me they they didn't get any of it offline they got it um they got it all out of the hard drive of his own computer <laughs> so they'd, they'd taken his the hard drive of his computer and found all these images of his stuff in Paris in Tokyo and in, in um, Australia yeah, and they were, you know, very, there was a, half a dozen of them were jailed for periods up to about 18 months in London. Wow, just for graffiti. Well, they did a pretty audacious kind of full size of a train thing and... Yeah, it's still like, is yeah. it but there was also, on a monument or something like that? No, no, it was on trains. So? But um, they were keen to make an example of them yeah, as well because so. the Olympics, you know, they wanted everything to look clean and sparkling for the Olympics. It's, yeah, I think it was mainly to make an example out of it. This was a couple of years back, and some of them are back in town, Sydney. Now they're back out, out of jail and back in. Yeah, and, yeah, they're happily riding again yeah. in the back, of, back lanes of Newtown and places. That doesn't stop them. Yeah, but still, I mean, when you think of it, you're like, yeah, the guy being sent to jail for nothing. It's not as if he was a murderer or a thief or something. It's just crazy. It's irrational. It's criminal damage. Yeah. It's an so, attack on property. Yeah. Hey, that's twenty-two twenty. Enjoy yourself and don't let anything stop you. <laughs> but to put it another way, have as much fun as they let you, and then some more. <laughs> oh, hang on, because you know the cab charge company yeah. will take eleven percent on top of the fare. Twenty-two twenty. Yeah, each page in there is a quote from a New York City cab driver. They're all wiser than me. In New York, they need to be. In Sydney, you're better off being a happy fool. There you go. Well, have as much fun as they let you, and then some more, because that way you're getting away with something. That's what graffiti is all about. It's about getting away with stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did. You know where you come from when you know where you want to be buried.